It's a joy to come and share with you these devotional moments today. Jesus tells the story of a man who went out and sold good seed in his field. The Bible says, but while men slept, while his servants were asleep, an enemy came in and sowed tares among the wheat. It sprouted, it went undetected for a while. And finally they come and report to the owner of the field that there's tares, there's literally weeds in your wheat. He doesn't hesitate, he knows where it has come from. He says an enemy has done this. They asked the owner, do you want us to go out and root up and pull up the tares? He says, no, uh, lest while you're trying to do that, you pull up wheat as well. Let both grow together, he says, and in the time of harvest, I will send my reapers into the field. Now, they will separate the wheat from the tares and uh, they will bind up and burn the weeds, the tares, and they will take the wheat and store it in my storehouse. Jesus says, an owner went out and sowed good seed. That owner was God. He sowed good seed because that's the only kind of seed God can sow. But he says, an enemy came and sowed tares, weeds, among the wheat. The enemy is the devil. And he sowed weeds among the wheat that when they sprouted and began to grow, they looked so much alike, no one knew that there were tares, weeds in the wheat. Not until they had began to ripen. And uh, when it gets to harvest time, the maturity showed what was wheat and what was weeds. The Lord is reminding us that weeds grow in every field. Oftentimes and for a while undetected. But he also reminds us in this parable that harvest time is coming. A day of separation is coming. And uh, the owner of the field will determine what is bound and burned and what goes into his storehouse. Brothers and sisters, what are you? Are you the good seed that has been planted? The wheat? Or are you simply some bad seed sown in a field? Only you can determine that. The good news of the gospel is, is that you still have an opportunity to become good seed in good ground and lead a life that is productive and glorifies God. And it all begins by you giving your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Again, I remind you, there's no better day than today, no better time than right now to give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for all that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for your saving grace. Now, Lord, we ask that you will speak to that person or persons struggling with the decision of whether or not to give their life to Jesus. We pray that you will speak to their hearts even right now, that they will give their lives to you and lead a life that will glorify your name. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Reminding you of our uh, prayer calls on Wednesday mornings at 7 a.m. and then again Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. Members of the Mount Olive Church, don't forget uh, that this coming week we begin our week of praying and fasting as we prepare our hearts for revival. And then let's not forget about Sunday School Review at 8.45 followed by 9 a.m. worship. May the Lord bless you, and you have a great day in the Lord Jesus Christ.